Okay, class. Today we're going to, I'm going to give you a brief overview on how to use SPSS. And you can see my dog Emily says hi. And I've added a little music today. So I'm going to let you guys tell me later if this is just way too annoying. But to get into SPSS, I think you got to relax. We're going to start with the basics, which will help you out with lab number five or project number one. Um, if you're just beginning SPSS, then you definitely want to go through this little slideshow. When you open up SPSS, and I showed you how to do that in class, one of the windows that will open is the data table window. And you'll see it there. And what you're going to need to do is enter a variable ID. Well, actually, you're going to enter the ID variable for your case number or one of your surveys. And you see here, you also have to enter a variable name. And you need to also define the variable type. And just to point out to you, for the variable ID, which is your case number or the number of the survey of, that you gave out, you want to use zero decimal places. Okay, so now we've moved on to entering the age variable. And you would just double click on the second column there. Because you see we did ID and we put the IDs there. And actually, if you look in the book, uh, I believe this is exercise 13, maybe? Double check. Okay, so age. You need to define the variable label. Type in age. And as you can see, I typed in um, 1, 2, and 3. Well, I typed in number 1 and the age range was 17 through 19. And then I typed in... Um, a value number two for age range of 20 to 22 and after you click and enter the value and the value label then you're going to click add and then you click continue otherwise it's going to boot you out of SPSS and well not out of SPSS it'll just tell you you did it wrong okay question one in this case is uh, what is the purpose of life on earth and this comes from the example that you should be your first example that you're doing so you're going to type in the variable label. And as you can see, I had already typed in the values 1 and the label. Uh, if you typed in number, the value number 1, then the value label would be to enjoy. Um, and click add. And you know, then add your next one, number two, value number 2. And click continue and keep going. Now, that particular assignment, I believe, calls for you to do a few things. Number one, it wants you to list the cases, and if you look in your pull-down menus, you'll go to Summarize, and then you'll go to List Cases. That'll produce some output for you in your output window. Oh, I'm sorry, you've got to select which cases you want to list. So I clicked um, Q1, and that was the question that said, um, what is the purpose of life on Earth? Then another thing you're going to actually have to do for this particular assignment is cross tabs. And you'll find this under the statistics window, summarize, cross tabs. And then when you start to look at your output, you'll see this was for the frequencies because it lists the number of cases. And that was creating your frequencies and selecting your frequencies. And in your syntax window, this would be frequencies ID by age in question number one. And that, of course, is your frequency output for question number one. And when you're getting ready to run your cross tabs, you're going to go to summarize and cross tabs. And of course, you do this after you've entered all your data. Don't forget to enter your variable names. And you'll see in the syntax window, it's there. And you've got your output. And your output for what is the purpose of life on Earth. And you need to double check your instructions in the book because I believe you are going to do a cross tab of variable number three by variable number two. And that concludes my very brief little demonstration of how to use SPSS. So, of course, I'm sure you're going to have questions. And also make sure you read the book. And I will see you in class.